Alright, everything should be up and running now. Good volume. Everything's okay. So, uh, this is kind of like a part two of Tuesday stream because Tuesday stream I cut very short. I stopped after like literally 80 minutes, an hour and 20. So today I'm going to go for at least an hour 40, might go for a few minutes longer. I kind of, oh shit, I'm going to sneeze, hold on. <coughs> Didn't have time to hit the mute there. Mmm. <clears throat> That's a good start. Uh, I'm gonna go for an hour 40, maybe a few minutes longer if I need to. Uh, we're gonna try to finish everything I wanted to do on Tuesday, and then tomorrow I will be doing a normal stream, possibly even a longer stream, depending on how much is left, because I don't think there's much of this game left. There's, there's not enough to last another two full streams after this, I know that. So, if I'm really close at the end of tomorrow's stream, I might just extend it and continue until I finish it. And then move on to something new next week. I know, finally, right? I've been at this for a month now. So the first thing I did after the last stream was immediately jacked out, went and grinded bug frags, and that's pretty much it. I just grinded bug frags off of Navi's, and I got about uh, 1,500. It did. It did take a while. It took quite a while. That was about 50 battles worth of bug frags. Oh, sorry, not 50, uh... 10... 20... Oh, wow, like, way more than that. Anyway, the reason I got so many... ...is, uh, to feed the viruses. Because, as I said before, there's a 100 bug frag limit on each virus. This is not the right... This is the one I don't have, which I will be getting this stream. There's a hundred bug frag limit on each virus, and when you do, you can get the Omega version of each one. The jelly viruses are wobbly to the touch. Oh, I have to talk to them. Or not? They drop close as Mega Man approaches. They seem fond of Mega Man. Inside sparkle and glisten. It's like they're sending a message to Mega Man. Uh, how do I feed them? How come the mushy viruses are growing well? Please allow me to redistribute food from the mushy. Redistribute now? No. Suddenly they laugh, but their eyes are cold and scary. Like statues, they don't move an inch until they start to shake their bodies. They wriggle about as if they are itchy. There we go. Uh, I'm just... Really? Wish he gives Mega Man a little smirk. Oh, that's cute. Alright, this is gonna take a while. That is 20 times for each of the viruses. Looks like that's all the food the viruses want. Let's go and try feeding a different type. Congratulations, thanks to you. Shit, sorry I didn't read that. The mushies have grown. No more bug frags are needed here. You can use them elsewhere. Eh? The Mushy have a message. Mm-hmm. Ah, I see. The Mushy have a boss, and they want to introduce him to you. The boss is very fond of medicine. He's often in places that use lots of it. You would do well to become his friend. Go on, you can do it. pretty good spread. That gives everyone equal damage. It's just that then there's no, like, overpowered one. Like, if I really wanted to risk it, I could have them be base and then put all 100 in here and have that top one do 200 damage with its attack. Not that it really matters. I'm not using them anyway, so...
let's just feed him evenly. The problem is, is if you get the Omega one, the Omega one still counts as uh, one of the four, or as one, of, one as part of the limit. So you have to redistribute again to make the Omega one more powerful. Earth Jelly's almost shaking with gratitude. Oh, that's nice. But anyway. Yeah, the beginning of the stream's gonna be a little chill while I do this and abuse, uh, abuse quickening. Like that was all the food these viruses want. Alright, cool. Congratulations! Thanks to you, the jelly viruses have fully grown. Alright, there we go. The jellies have a message. It does have a boss, I want to introduce him to you. The boss loves hot springs. He often appears in areas with them. You would do well to become his friend. Go on, you could do it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. It's very awkward, because you can't have all four of them be the same strength. Or all three of them. Alright, two down, uh, six to go here. They wag their tails with happiness at seeing Mega Man. Sniffing the ground, they seem to be checking boundaries. Huge yawns, huge yawns reveal rows of powerful-looking fangs. Spiky 3 is wagging its tail back and forth. Neat. Say he hates the zoo, so he's always causing trouble near there. Okay. They meditate with eyes lightly shut. They're making sure that their swords are always ready. Sortie viruses lower their heads. Interesting how they use, like, neutral pronouns for them, but then when they talk about the boss, they use masculine ones. It's also... You know what, I, I chalk that up to just end, uh, to Capcom localization, though. Because, uh, these games aren't the most spell-checked and grammar-checked games. Sorry, three bows to Mega Man in appreciation. All right, didn't read that yet. The boss likes broken things a lot, and he often appears in areas with broken items. Okay, that's interesting. The sorties all have the same attack power. It's just they uh. They, um, have different elements. And that change, of course, like I'm saying, that changes the power of their, uh, virus chip. And what, and what happens when you land on each one. Too busy digging holes, they didn't met it. They don't notice Mega Man. It's hard to see what they're doing in the holes. The Momogre viruses tilt their heads in wonder. It's weird, I think they're, like, referring to them as, a, as, like, plural. Like, there's more than one of each here. It's very weird. Mogre is happy to bury, to bury the bug frag. Bury. Bury, bury. It's weird how bury is pronounced, that word's pronounced bury, even though it doesn't look like it would be at all. And that's just, like, a word that you have to learn is pronounced that way. Man, 
think if I grinded out all the bug frags I needed for this on stream, that'd be nine viruses, a hundred each, that's 900 bug frags. And that's not counting the 300 I still need for the end of the game. They say he's very fond of Yoka area. Okay. Their heavy eyelids look about ready to close. The demon eye viruses have slightly weepy eyes. Their eyes are so big and cute. Big eyeballs flicker back and forth. Doesn't mean anything, it's just eye exercises. <clears throat> Joker eye gives a wink of its huge eye. Well, I guess that's the only way they could show emotion. He's very fond of Scilab. Okay. Oh, these are all even again. Alright, one more room of these to go for now. And then we got one more coming up later. Mega Man's approach makes them nervous. They're still wary of strangers. One tough bunny virus is playing with its own ears. They're jumping around, full of energy today. Mega Bunny is jumping up and down excitedly. It'd be nice if you just choose to feed all 100 at once. Sleepy head, you can find him in a sleeping place. Okay. Ooh, that power's very uneven. There's not a whole lot I can do about that either. Metor viruses are cleaning their axes. They're wearing shiny helmets. These Metor viruses seem to be, like, very neat and tidy. Or these Metor viruses seem to like to be neat and tidy. There we go. The Metor viruses are standing motionless. Looking closely, you can see they're sleeping with their eyes open. Metor 3 is happily rubbing up against Mega Man. It's the same for all of them, right? They don't say anything different when you feed them. Yeah, they're all, they're all the same. Don't worry, this is the second to last one. There's only one more after this. You can find him on a blackboard. Okay. Again, that's as close to even as I could get them. <clears throat> Alright, so now we've unlocked all the Omega viruses. So, let's see, what else did we do? We finished the main quest last stream as well. This one. Thanks for solving the riddle of the will, Lan. I'll never become a powerful net battler, but I'm sure you will someday. Good luck. So that was the last quest. I'm pretty sure you need that to get into the secret area. And that gave me a recover 300. So, what to do now is find the Omega Viruses and fight the V3 Navvies. So the remaining V3 Navvies. 
don't think I've missed any optional ones at this point. It's just the World 3 uh, navvies. So let me pull up the, uh, the chart, because I know where they're all located. Or I have one that tells me where they're located. We'll do the viruses first, because that's going to be, like, requiring me to go all over. <laughs> so the blackboard one's easy. There's only one blackboard you could jack into in this game. And it's in your classroom. This is probably the last time you're ever going to see this school in the series, so... Enjoy this. <laughs> so you have to fight three of the Omega Navis, or Omega Viruses, to get them. And, you know, as expected, they're not... They're not incredibly difficult, but they're also not easy. <laughs> Like, these crack panels when they shoot, so... Which, honestly, in this case, is actually a good thing. Because then they can't hit you when they when you break the panel in front of them. It's kind of a double-edged sword for them. Yeah, it's the same, uh, it's the same, same dialogue, no difference, it's just that now there's another virus added to the rotation. Uh, let's see, are there any others in ACDC? No. So yeah, this might be the very last time you see this here, well, actually, wait, hold on. Yeah. No, that, that's is it. This is the last time I'm coming to this school. Because this school is not in 4, 5, and it only appears in the cutscene in 6. At the very beginning and the very end of the game. So you, we're done seeing that school for the rest of this uh, series. Well, actually, no. I guess not because of uh, Battle Chip Challenge, but... Uh, does that really count? Pretty sure I still have Sneak Run equipped, so probably not gonna be fighting anything that isn't a Navi or a, vi a set battle, rather. I could speak. I know words. I was a communications major, damn it. Down. I'm pretty sure there's one in the hospital as well. On the third floor next to the on the door lock, yep. Very lucky here. That pro those proto man ships in this game are so helpful. They're always helpful, but there's a reason why they're post they're post game in this game. <laughs> Thank you. 
That fight would have been significantly harder if I did not have Proto Man at the beginning. Yoka area. Uh, there's also one back at Scylla that I didn't get. So we'll get the one at Scylla, then do the ones at Yoka. dangerous very quickly. Oh, right, they go right through Invis. That doesn't help. Be too bad now. All right, we got a bunch in Yoko now that we have to get. So that was what four of them, and we got four more left. Or do we wait? The one, two, three, four, yeah. We have one in ACDC, two in the hospital, and one here. So we got them. Uh, I might have uh, missed one. I might have missed one in, in my list. That's not good. Oh, wow, I called it. I didn't have the jellies uh, listed down, actually. Yeah, I missed them, but I correctly guessed where they were. Lucky me, except that I don't have anything to handle these, and these guys are probably gonna hit like a tank, so... Oof. They hit all three rows at once, so it doesn't matter where I dodge to.
thankfully, cracked panels stop them, so I lucked out. There's four in Yoka, because there's also two in the zoo, and then one in the Yoka area. That's like half of them right there. And I already got the other half. There's a purple mystery data in here, too, that I didn't get yet. Or did I? Maybe I did. Alright. Sorty Omega. They're probably not... They look like they'd be fire types, but probably not. No. They're neutral. purple mystery data I didn't unlock in here yet. Maybe I was thinking of somewhere else. Or maybe I did unlock it in here and I just didn't realize it. Alright, gotta take another trip, trip into the zoo comp. This game's really weird. It's like one of the, it's the only game where they make you revisit like main dungeons to do shit. And unfortunately it's viruses all the way towards the back. Hide and seek lie? Yeah, they, they are. They're just standing there. You have to come back here three times. At least three times. That's not counting the fact that I got the Momogra viruses during a side quest. You have to come here to get attacked during the uh, ranking scenario. You have to come and play hide and seek. You have to come for the Momogras. And now you have to come here for the, uh, spikies, or whatever virus is located here. Wait. Because they're in this area. This must be it. There we go. Spiky Omegas.
let's get out of this awful area. Never come back to it again. I fought Metal Man and Punk V3 already, right? Or Beta, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Whatever. Getting shit chips at the beginning of the fight always, you know, doesn't help. It'll do damage, but Metal Man floats. Actually, not too bad. Just version one, though. Wow, all of that custom work, and he still can't win. Actually, I think I did fight her because I remember that word, that line from last stream. Right, and the final one we need is where I fought Bubble Man. Ugh. So thankfully, I'm close, but. I'm gonna need press. Everyone's favorite fucking program. If I find Flame Man again, I'm probably just gonna run. I'm pretty sure you could run from V3 now because it just usually takes a turn. God, these pads are not a thing after this game. I mean, we've said that a bunch of times, though. You know, we're, we're, we're annoyed with the plot-based Navi customizer programs. Thankfully, this is the only game that does that. And it's just because they really wanted to show that Navi customizer off. determines whether or not you could run. I was told it's HP, but I don't think that's the case. And it's always two turns that you can't run. Just stay in the back row, I can wait until all of them line up in the front. And then I could get them with this. Or I could, maybe I could get them with this. Actually, hold on. Ooh. 
I don't- I forget if Zeus Hammer works. I don't think it does. I could try, though. Nah, it doesn't. It did trigger, uh, anti-damage, though, which is pretty cool. ECD. Gel Rain. Let's look at these two, at least. Should be all eight of them. We will be needing press again, unfortunately, but not tonight. Or not right now. Actually, it might not be tonight. I, I, I don't think I'm wrong there, actually. Quiet as Mega Man approaches. The spiky viruses all around seem to be very proud. So yeah, you just... Oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. Attack 170. So I could add another... What is it? It's one per bug fight. So I can make that a 270 damage attack if I wanted to. With their fine posture, they seem very strong indeed. That's nice to see, all four of them even. But it's also weird because like two of the two of those viruses have no element. The normal sorties and the sorty omegas don't have an element. But brave eyes, the killer eye viruses look strong. And of course that one's way more powerful than the others, so can't do anything about that. Wow, it's so smooth. And the hole's edge is so perfect. It must be skilled diggers indeed. And again, the, the Omega virus is just so much more powerful. Which is weird because for the ones that have even power levels, they don't do anything extra. So they, they kind of get gimped in that regard. When they seem to they seem to like it when you stroke their foreheads. Okay. Again, very powerful. Very powerful indeed. They're staring blankly ahead. What could they be thinking? Are they even thinking? Yeah, now we're done. The oddly colored jelly viruses have hidden powers? I mean, probably not. Jelly viruses are very weak overall. There's something dignified about these mushy, I think. Again, not much I could do there. They're very close, though. I think I already went here, right? These are the spikies. Yeah, okay.
So that takes care of all that for now. There's still one more virus I gotta get later. And there's three encounters for that one. It's not two. Because the actual chip is split up into two different encounters. One of which you can only get if you do all the rest of them. Which is why I bother to get them ahead of time. Uh, so... I don't need that anymore. that anymore. It's so, alright, it's time to take down the V3 navvies that I haven't done yet. So I've done Flashman, I've done Beast Man, I've done Bowl Man, I've done Flame Man, I need to do Bubble Man, Desert Man, Plant Man, and Drill Man. Uh, Bubble Man is annoying. That's the only one with a special uh, qualification in front of it, so I can't do that. I don't want to do that one yet. Desert Man is in Yoko, he's in the Inns TV. Plant Man is actually where I fought him the first time in Hospital Comp 3. Actually, no, wouldn't it be Hospital Comp 5? Hospital Comp 3 is where you enter it. This right? Yeah. I did fight his V2, right? It was in Beach 2 or Beach 1. I'm always going to say that the wrong way because I keep thinking the areas you enter are one. They're not. In, in, uh... Every area except ACDC, you enter through Area 2. right? Yeah, I did. Okay. There we go. Just need a little persuasion to get it to go. <laughs> Alright, I should have equipped Aquabug. Shit. Would've made this a lot easier. Anticipating him showing up without the guard. Proto Man cannot walk into an empty space, unfortunately. The fact that he's right in front of me. That lands on the back row. That'll hit him eventually.
Wait, should have picked it the other way. Ah, oh, damn it. This is actually really helpful. We want to get rid of the sand as quickly as possible. heal at least. out. Charge shot and done. Could do that a lot better, but whatever. I'm not pushing for it. Sets Desert Man down. Plant Man will be next. I already did Flash Man, I already did Beast Man, I already did Flame Man, yeah. And now I did Desert Man, so I'll do Plant Man next. Bull Man I already did. Uh, everyone else. Yeah, all the optional ones I did. There's two in the hidden area, but we'll, we'll get to those when we get to those. So, what's next? Uh, the hospital. This is three, right? Yeah, all right. So Plant Man will be in here somewhere.
Yep, there we go. See? Just takes a lot of patience. That's all. Let's steal that. Mine there. Hey, Lols. Thanks again. I always appreciate that. This might break his barrier, though. Damn it. Actually, pretty good. But well, still only got the version one ship. Alright, so that takes care of everyone. Oh, Drill Man. Still have to do him. Uh he's on Hades Island too. I'm saving Bubble Man for last because there's a special condition to fighting him. And it's very much a pain in the ass. Before I fight Drill Man, though, can I finally fight Proto Man version 2, or is Chod still gonna deny me that fight right now? <laughs> so you came. Nope, still uh, won't let me do that. I don't know what you need to do to get version 2 out of him. It is possible to fight version 2 and 3 of Proto Man, though. Alright, we're gonna do the second most annoying V3 fight, and then the most annoying V3 fight. I wanted. go. Time for this awful, awful fight. Yeah, you need, you can't, again, his drill is, uh, indestructible. Oh, fuck. Missed completely. This might actually take multiple tries on my end. Didn't 
didn't hit him. Oh fuck, wait. I think I might have to redo this fight. <laughs> One? Yeah, he is. There we go. He's in one of the holes. That's how it works. And I'm on new shirt on. Yeah, Drumman's a bitch. You definitely have to go into his fight with a plan. You're not Drumman. Also not drill man. So essentially sneak run lets you skip any fights that you can't run away from in the first two turns. That's what I'm getting from this because it's always the case. What why though? Unfortunately, that's like the only thing I could do to make it more common to fight him. This time, asshole. I won't. I refuse. Damn it, really? That, that had to be just like a microfiber past where he was. Literal sub pixels. Fuck, dude. So goddamn fast. Probably won't work. Oh, look, I already determined where he was. He's coming out the middle. That's interesting. If only it helped me a bit more. Oh, come on! 
Ass wipe. All right. I've barely done any damage to him. So I feel like this is... Oh, and I lost all my panels. Great. Aw, oh, this... Blows. This fight sucks. Holy shit. Let's try again. Oh god, I hit the button in the middle of the fucking controller. No, this is not a game. Stop. It is a game, but I don't want a fucking open game bar. Microsoft, fix your shit. Okay, this could get me a good 120 right at the beginning. Proto-Man is pretty damn useless in this fight. Let's add. The more I add, the better. Because then I have more options. And if I need those previous options, I'll just wait for a folder back. Really? That one was too early? Oh, this sucks. Just think, this is me trying to go for, like, just beating him. This isn't even me trying to, like, get a good rank on him. Oh, I actually hit him. Somehow. Folder back, where the hell are you? I can really use you right now. Oh, what? Why did that, like, I, I was like mashing A to work at that point. Why'd that not work? Okay. Okay. Damn it. I didn't think that would work. Almost there. Got him. 
Good lord, that's difficult. Alright, he's down. That just leaves Bubble Man. Who's in Beach 2? Or Beach 1? Is it Beach 1 or Beach 2? He's in Beach 1. And as you know, we can't get to Beach from the Beach area. Or the way around. You can't get to the Beach area from the Beach. You have to go to Yoko to get there quickly. So, Bubble Man has an additional, incredibly annoying, uh, requirement in order to fight his V3. And that's that you need to be in critical health. So, to make this a bit easier, I'm gonna try plugging in... Why do I still not have Spin Pink? Where the hell is that? We are going to... You know what, 200 HP is not going to matter. Fuck it. However, we do have to remove this. And we will put in undershirt. And I will put in weapon level plus one, because I think I'm going to switch to... Uh, the bug style. So, our first order of business is getting my health down to a quarter of what it is now. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Not a whole lot I could do about it either. Oh, it didn't hurt me, shit. Maybe not do that. <laughs> glitch with these enemies not being able to attack me. I don't know what the hell causes that. Sp oh, there's Spin Pink. Jesus. Why is that one behind a pink mystery data? Or purple mystery data, really? I mean, come on, man. Ugh. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I think Q10 is when I'm gonna start flashing. Yep. Yeah. I didn't get a refill from that either. Sometimes when you're in low health and you win a battle, you get just an HP refill. I know in 2 that's very common. I don't know about this game. Alright, so now I'm back down to next to nothing. So let's uh, put Aquabug back on. Let's equip a sneak run. Save. I don't want to waste this. And now Bubble Man should appear. He only will appear if you have red health. If you have anything above it, he will not. Uh, that's not what I want. Again, I'm gonna abuse soft resetting here because I don't want that sneak run to run out. I feel like I'm on the right track, though. <laughs> Let me put roll as my uh, set chip so I can make sure I get some health back. Actually, I shouldn't emphasize the damage. I should probably go for the, have the refill, which unfortunately is only recover 120. And she refills, I think, 80. I'm not sure. I think it's twice what the attack power is. No. Well, I could test that out right, real quick, actually. Yeah, it's twice the attack power. And she does three times the amount. rather have the extra 40 HP than do the uh, 120 damage. Actually, what am I saying? No, I don't. I got undershirt. I'm fine. That's a bad glitch, too, when I got there. I was losing HP. I just realized it's kind of the downside of using a bug style here. Uh... This is Beach 1, right? one, right? I, I better look this up. Maybe the person mis mixed it up. Beach area one. Beach one, yeah. Got that sneak run on.
I saw a Navi dressed like a diver. That's so beach area. That guy must be a coward. Navis like him only show up when, for fights when the opponent has low HP. Alright, maybe I have to talk to him first. Maybe that was kind of like the trigger to make him start appearing. Sorry, I'm like closing out all my other stuff on my phone. Because I was keeping my notes there. Unless you're at 10. I thought it was as long as you're at low health. 10% sounds very low. Because that's like 84 health on my end. Ten percent of total, yeah. Are you sure? Because critical is at twenty-five percent. All right, whatever. All right, I was at eight hundred forty, so I need eighty-four health. Do three turns of no escape in here? Doesn't really matter. Sneak run's still on. Alright. Oh, well, what do you know? There he is. Motherfucker. Alright. Oh, he doesn't have a rock either. Good, I can hit him immediately. This asshole out of the way so I don't have to worry about him anymore. Thank you for the advice. I, I'm s stunned that that's the truth, though. That's not gonna work. God damn it, the one space he couldn't be on. And fuck, I'm dead. Alright. Pain in the ass battle. What oh, no? Don't don't expire the sneak run. I only have one of those. Expecting to spend the whole stream on this. <laughs> I just imagine I'm doing this with the speed up button held down. Uh, I was doing so well in that fight, too. might take more than another uh, another stream to finish. God damn it, really? Yeah, I found it. Even though I'm s I, I fucking... God. I don't remember disliking this this much when I was a kid. 
Eh, whatever, he spawned anyway. Oh, and I got the movement bug again. Close. What? Ah, oh, wore literally the frame I dropped it. It wore off. Unfucking believable. This game loves to just have this boss be a pain in the ass, even when I have like a strategy against it. Wait, no. I am invincible. Okay. better pace here. Got no movement bugs. Can refill some health. I'm trapped. That's already gone. Good, 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 good. Very good. God. All right. That's all the V3 navvies down. Kind of put the uh, sneak run back on for a while. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I got another half hour before I got to stop, so... This is definitely not getting done in another stream, unfortunately. It's gonna be, like, another whole stream and then, like, a, pun a truncated second stream, because I'm gonna need to grind for chips, unfortunately. Uh, first, let's go to the beach, because there is a chip I need to get now that I've beaten Bubble Man. Just, ah, oh, terrible, no good. This battle scene's just not exciting enough. I know. 
We need a more exciting chip to thrill everyone. Hey, you. You got a whole Meteor H? I think I might, actually. I'd like to swap this for Rook F. I need inspiration, quickly, before I forget. You don't have it. Are you trying to make a fool out of me? Damn it. You think it might be in your folder? I can't check it for you. You'll have to take it out. There's a few trades I haven't done in this game, but I did the major uh, chain that gets you the Zeus Hammer. Which, I mean, should be evident since I have the Zeus Hammer. Isn't there PMD in here? I'm not sure. Let me just check real quick. Yep, there is. Jealousy J. That's a good chip. The security cube seal breaks as Bubble Man weakens. This gets me, I believe, the Aura chip, right? Yep. So Aura is the life Aura from the other games. It's just rebranded as Aura. Repels attacks under 100. What am I trying to do now? Uh, I'm going to be... Going through any of the areas that the mystery cube, the, the, the version 3 security cubes unlocked. Which means going to Undernet 4 through Scilab and searching from there. And then after all that's done, it'll finally be time to go to the hidden area. I mean, 145, not bad. I'm only missing 55 standard chips. And a good number of them are hidden in the, in the secret area, so. Still in bug style? Yeah, I am. Get rid of that shit. We definitely do not need that anymore. I think. There's like a whole second floor to this area that I've never been to. Uh, before we do that though, let's go to back to Undernet 7 real quick because uh, I have broken Drollman's cube now. So, if you're new to the Battle Network, the difference between an aura and a barrier is that barriers absorb a set amount of damage, and then they disappear. Auras will only disappear if you get hit with a certain amount of damage above the number on it. Security cube seal breaks as Drill Man weakens. Gut Impact J. H, I, J... Oh, I have all three. Nice. Now I can replace these. It's a faintly glowing curtain. When you try to touch it, a voice chastises from above. Only the king of the undernet may pass, unworthy one. The curtain emits a mysterious force that pushes you back. And that's all that we could do. I already went to the right before. You needed 50 bug frags. And there's another curtain that's just like that one. I sneak run on, so trying to run is kind of pointless.
How many stars have I gotten before? I think in the original version when I played through it, I got all of them except the... Uh... I forget. I got all the trading chips in that, I just never did the Omega Navis. I don't think I got every program advance in my original run through of three. Uh, alright, I'm in under six, I have to go back to four. I n yeah, I never did the original Omega Navi stuff on my original playthrough, and I don't think I'm going to this time either, because I can't do uh, multiplayer with this. I mean, I can always cheat and just get the chips in, but why bother? Wait, is it possible to get up there from this area, or do I have to go in through Undernet 4? I think that you have to go in through Undernet 4, but I'm not sure. Money's good, I guess. I don't know if I really need much more of it at this point. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can get up to the blue path from this area. I think you have to get in there from four. That's the only area I haven't really explored fully. Undernet 3 I didn't explore fully either. There's a spot in there that I haven't unlocked. Yeah, I know. I've actually played this game twice, because I played blue and then I played white version, like, maybe like five or six years ago. Salamander S. I already have that. Security cube weakens this plant man, blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Lance S. Cool. I already had a Lance chip, though. Was that really necessary? And also, that was a Lance R. I'm pretty sure that just said Lance S. Where is it? R, Z, and H. Whatever. Alright, we gotta get to under 4, so we gotta navigate this piece of shit area again. I hate this area. I constantly get lost in it. Uh, yeah, I already opened that security cube. The game is trolling me. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, get on this one. Go over here. Go down the ramp. Go up here. More money. Take this what no, god damn it, every fucking time. I always step into that one thinking that's the way to go. It's this one over here. Undernet 2 in this game is awful. Wow, just just piling on the Zenny, huh? Alright. Now we're in Undernet 4, yeah. So I haven't taken the time to really explore this area yet. I kind of just like went to where I needed to be. This is where Beastman was. This is the top of the pillar that stands in this area. Nobody knows who built the pillar or why. That's where the photo was. There's a net dealer here. Uh, I already have fire and I already will cover 15. Curse shield I don't have. Step cross, I don't. I have step cross. 
attack plus 30. I'm pretty sure attack plus 30 is actually a mega chip, which is kind of a pain in the ass. It's like, why would you want that to be a mega chip? Yep. Her shield is new. I already have step cross, right? Yeah, I do. QS. Is he selling R? No, he's selling P. I already have Recover 150, and I already have, uh... I already have fire out on. I think. Wait, let me check. See, I have to make sure. Yep. This is the ramp that I fought Copy Man on. Yeah, this is the Hidden Demon. Uh, he gives you a error code. We already went over that before. Dark. That's where Plant Man was, already fought him. I feel like there's something hidden there, but there isn't. This is where Plant Man was, down here. Or, wait, no, I guess not. Plus one. Not that I really need that. Here we go. Security cube seal breaks as Desert Man weakens. Sand stage C. Eh, whatever. I don't think I had it, so... Oh, I think I had it in... Yeah, I had a stand stage in one of those preset folders, so... Not really that helpful. What's the point of this? There's nothing here. Alright. Well, that explores all the sealed areas. It's finally time to head to the last area of the game. So if you remember a few streams ago when I finished the story, or the one before I finished it rather, uh, the server to the undernet is actually located in the back of this inn. And when we went in there, we were kind of stopped at the... at this big hole where we got the Giga Freeze from the Navi S or Serenade or whatever he's supposed to be called. And we weren't allowed to go down the hole because we didn't have a star ID and a hundred fragments of power, which we did have a hundred fragments, we just didn't have the star ID. Now that we've beaten the game and have over 100 chips, though, we can finally go down here. The undying flames emit light and an overwhelming heat. Now, if you thought the undernet was bad, oh boy, you haven't seen anything yet. This is the worst, worst area in the series to date. And there's a lot of awful, awful things down here. So this is the secret area. It's pretty much heaven. Don't let this look fool you, though. It is very, very brutal. In fact, I should probably just take Sneak Run off here, because it is not going to help at all. We will need press in this area, unfortunately. Undershirt will come in handy. I think 
there's anything, uh... It's not bad navigating it, it's bad when you have to get through the monuments. Alright, so from the the entrance, the first thing we're gonna do is go directly left. Because that gets us the Scuttle family. Which I'm not prepared to fight here. So you might be remember these viruses from Battle Network 1 and 2. They're in both games, so... There you go. In Battle Network 1, they're part of the final boss. In Battle Network 2, they're in the World 3 area. Just like in this game, they're in the hidden area. interesting thing about these viruses is that there's actually uh, three fights with them to get all of them, instead of two like the rest. Actually, let's go back and feed them first, so I don't have to come back later for it. Uh, also, just like every other, uh, just like the Secret Area in 2, you can't actually jack out here. You need to go back where you came in. No good. We can only jack out at the same place we jacked in. A Secret Area in the Undernet Square. Be careful. Don't worry, we'll be, we'll be right back. We're just gonna take care of the scuttle shit first. Because the truth is, after that, we don't have to go anywhere else in the game. Th that'll be where we spend the rest of the game. Until we've beaten it, and then we go back to Undernet 7 for, like, the rewards, pretty much. Also, I don't want to get too deep into the secret area, because... Uh... I do have to go in about 10 minutes. Oh, he said something. We developed a new chip uses to call Scud List. Alright, that's all. Sorty, Spiky, Mushy, Jelly, Killer Eye, Momogra, Scud List. Sounds mysterious. Word mysterious is misspelled. And that's all. So now we have all nine families in the machine. We just need the rest of uh, Scuttle's family. The spiritless stare reveals nothing of their thoughts. They're knocking on their food box. It's almost as if they're demanding more food. A grinding noise can be heard, but from where? Scuttler scratches about on the ground. Alright. Come on. Lining up to feed them is so annoying. Alright. What about the Omega Forms? I already got them for everyone except the Scuttles. The Scuttles are the only one I haven't done this yet. Alright, 
we fed them. Oh, you can't actually get the, um... The Omega form for the Scuttlesses, unless, uh... Also, I love how Scuttle has, like, a way higher attack power. Yeah, now they're all about even. So, unlike the other viruses, the Omega version of Scuttles won't appear until you've gotten the rest of them, because there's actually five, not four for them, or not three. See, they're even in the chip art there. You can see the green and the uh, white one. The only way to get the green and the white ones are to get every other virus in the game, which we've done. So, there you go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna replace my M cannon with it, because that chip is very good. Six counting the Omega form. It's three plus an Omega form for the others, five plus an Omega form for the Scuttles. But now that I have all of them, I can actually get the last one, and that's at the end of the secret area. So unfortunately, we will be going somewhere else. White, green, and black, yeah. So I still have 767 bug frags, it's good. That's enough to, uh... Actually, wait a minute, where's that other bug frag dealer? Uh, where's the one in the undernet? How do you get to him? Hades Isle. Shit. Alright. We might as well do that, because the truth is we're not going to get far in the secret area. I've only got a few minutes left. As long as I have 300 in the, in the secret area, I'm fine. Purple mystery data here? No, there isn't. Meteors I don't have yet. Godstone I don't have yet. Cust, wood, yeah, why not? Let's buy all of them. I'm all sold out. Thank you so. Megas and two regulars. Only one of those was new, though. Only one of those standard chips. I had one of them. And I still have 477. Good. So I have just over enough to you to get the uh, final thing I need. Let's see, will Chaud fight me now that I've beaten all the V3s, or is he still going to be a bitch about it? No, still doesn't fight me. Interesting, I wonder if that's... you just... I, I don't know what it takes to get him to fight you harder. I've only fought V1, and he hasn't, he's refused to fight me with V2 yet. Secret area. Uh, you get a little glimpse of it now, but I'm gonna have to stop in just a few minutes, so I'm probably gonna have to save it for next time. Oh, 
there's the raddies. Oh, and there's, a uh, sanctuary panels. We've seen those before. Let's make you take half damage. Fun. Fun for you, not for the en- or, not when the enemy has them. goes one square. It's like it's like a downgrade from the other one. No chip. Unbelievable. So you're from the surface, huh? Well, try not to get yourself killed around here. Unfortunately, I don't have, like, any time left here. So even exploring this area is going to be out of the question right now. Serenade has set in places great monoliths. These stones are used to seal away evil viruses. If you do not wish to die, then do not break the stones. But there is only one thing. Only one thing in this world which may break them. A thing which Serenade has made. It lies at the edge of the Undernet. The hammer. Oh, you mean... You mean this hammer right here? For the smashing of seals is carved on the hammer. That's why I said it's important. So, there's two obstacles in this area. Monuments and security systems. And I will go into detail about both of those next time, because I have to stop now. Unfortunately, regrettably, I was hoping to make it through part of this area so that I could farm for chips between now and the next one, because in order to beat this area completely, you need all 200 standard chips. And if I could at least access all three areas of the secret area, um, I would be able to get all of them b between now and tomorrow. So, I can see what I can get between now and tomorrow, but unfortunately, I'm gonna probably have to do some grinding on stream in or if I want to be in one day. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do something. I don't know. But anyway, that'll be tomorrow, because right now, it's time for me to go. Thank you all for coming, as always. I appreciate it. I know I don't sound like I do, but I do. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Anyone want to host before I go? The answer is not really. I'm just going to uh, let Auto Host take it over. So, okay. You guys have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow for probably a full stream. Good night.